Milan, Italy, a place where people take their designs seriously. It is the home of Floss, one of Italy's largest lighting manufacturers, where a diminutive, iconic table lamp named Miss Sissy was born. She's proof that design doesn't have to be too serious. Miss Sissy was the first one with a political, almost social attitude to say, come on, good design can be affordable. It was her simplicity that set her apart. She was created to thumb her nose at the overly complicated desk lamps of the 1980s. It was very inexpensive, very, very inexpensive. And the price supposed to be down, but the quality supposed to be extremely high. It became an icon. Standing just under a foot tall, Miss Sissy is cute, almost cartoon-like. She comes in bright crayon colors and looks like she's been stitched together by hand. The look is playful, right down to the packaging. She peers out at you from her own doll box. You can see it through a transparent window, and so you can see it immediately and fall in love in immediately. Philippe Stark is Miss Sissy's creator, one of the most famous designers in the world today. Stark has designed everything from award-winning furniture to citrus juicers, even fly swatters. He gives a fresh twist to everyday household objects. He's also enjoyed a very successful partnership with Floss, a company that's known for its originality. Stark is the guy giving. He's taking the risk, running with his ideas, trying to break walls. That's why he was able to get into the arena of the Italian design establishment. Getting into that arena of Italian design wasn't easy. I remember when I introduced this to the salespeople and to my dad, the reaction was horrible, no? They were saying, what you did, this is that, what is this, blah, blah. The concept of a wee plastic lamp that really didn't give much light went over like a lead balloon. My father said, forget about it, don't do it. And they said, impossible. We already did them all. What are you saying? That we spent so much for them all. <laughs> On their first run, they made only 2,000 Miss Sissies, barely enough to heat up the injection molding machines. But Miss Sissy became an instant hit. We sold in 12 days 8,000. And the rest, as they say, is history. 20 years later, more than 2 million Miss Sissies have adorned tabletops around the world. Floss still produces more than 100,000 a year. It starts with clear polycarbonate pellets, which are mixed with pigmented ones. Getting the exact color isn't easy. So there was a lot of tests, a lot of color tests. Little bit more yellow, little bit less yellow. What is yellow? No, little bit more, please, okay. So 100 uh, tests. The pellets are heated in a molding machine. Then the liquid plastic is injected under high pressure into the molds. It takes three molds to make each lamp. There is uh, one mold for the base that made uh, two different parts of the base. One for the support and the other one is for the shade. The two-part base is formed as one piece and removed from the molding machine by a robotic arm. When cool enough to handle, the two halves are snapped apart. Each stand is assembled to ensure a good fit and any rough edges are trimmed. If you look at the lamp, every detail where the two parts of the light connect each other was easy to do a line. Now there cost to us enormously more to make the molds because in a three-dimensional way, it looks like if there is an embroidery there. But there are small details that you don't realize in reality. You, you see them, you absorb them somewhere, but you don't realize that you are what you are appreciating. What you appreciate is the beauty emotional impact of the product. They're wrapped in plastic, then shipped to another location a few hours away. Here, the electrical components will be added. The assembly here in Floss starts, uh, uh, there is a line where there are all the parts, uh, one after the other one, and uh, the people assemble in the beginning uh, uh, the base. On the assembly line, the bases are taken apart and set in a holder so the power cord and the light bulb socket can be attached. Then, a lead weight goes into the base, giving the otherwise lightweight Miss Sissy some stability. At the next stage of assembly, the shade holder is attached and the light bulb is screwed in. 
Finally, the shade goes on. Don't look for much light from Miss Sissy, but that's the point. Miss Sissy have uh, also give you a light in your room, but also give you emotion in your room. It's like to have a little baby beside you during the night. The lamps then head to packaging, where Miss Sissy and her doll box are finally united, ready to put smiles on the faces of a variety of customers. One, she's a girl of 13 years old, and the other is a super groovy rich guy in Manhattan. What moves all of us at the end are the same thing. 